Hey guys, Don here. Um, we're kind of pushing our way through here, this million dollar uh, uh, practice, getting you the million dollar mark, <laughs> talking about uh, covered procedures here uh, and also imaging. So let's kind of go into this. Um, covered procedures, because he was leaving and I just kind of walked in there. In the beginning, I was very tentative about procedures, but I think as um, got used to it, you get to see that patients really do need matrixectomy versus just an ingrown toenail. I wasn't very confident uh, of offering things, but now you're like, you know what patients need and you, and you do it. Um, so skin issues, I'll do a biopsy on them. Um, ingrown toenail, I'll do a matrixectomy. I'll do uh, things like that. So the, what I find what helps with procedures is being confident and knowing that it will help them like an exostectomy on the side of the toe or doing a surgical procedure if it's indicated uh, at the hospital. Um, I've put most of the procedures in my treatment sheets. So for example, in the presentations and the treatment sheets, once again, it all goes back to that. You'll see kind of a picture of an ingrown toenail or a picture of a matrixectomy. You're going to see a picture of a amnio injection or a cortisone injection or, or a biopsy. So it's all going to be in these. Okay. Um, I did uh, another um, training on uh, ultrasound training uh, for others. If you want to get to that, you just log into the Practice Mastery Academy. And I have a lot of different things here on these master classes, like on Achilles tendonitis, about using a scribe. Um, these are all within the Practice Mastery Academy. So not everyone has access to them, but I, I think you would like them if you looked at them. Um, x ray tips. Once again, everyone gets x rays. Um, and everyone gets follow-up x-rays after like an exostectomy or after a flexor tenotomy or after doing a surgery. Um, and then every two weeks when they come in after surgery, they're getting an x-ray. Um, procedures, uh, fracture code is one that I think we weren't kind of utilizing very well in the past, but doing fracture codes, I think is important. Um, other types of procedures that we didn't do as much, um, like uniboots kind of really help when they do a cam boot or when there's a lot of swelling. Um, I'll, I'll do like an uniboot for them. That's one I didn't do as much. Flexor tenotomies, I've, I've always done a lot of those. Exostectomies, these little procedures I like to do in the office. They're pretty helpful. Um, if you want to learn all of them, I put a little in-office procedure training uh, video if you want to uh, see here. Um, this is uh, actually, it's not a video. It's my new doctor manual. So if you want to look, you can see this is something that we give to the, to the new doctors that come to the office. And what it does is it goes over all the different types of procedures that we are going to do in the office. It has here, like we talked about before, in-office dispensing. It has different types of office procedures, how to review the procedures, um, what, what the results show for like ABIs. And basically everything that these new doctors that we have came in with, I put these in here. When to do biopsy, when to do a CDFE, when to do a cortisone injection, what you would do it for, how do you, how do, you do it? nail avulsion, IND, matrixectomy, flexor tenotomy. So all these things, I kind of put these in here. I know it seems probably simple to some people, but it's a kind of a good reminder to see, well, how good am I at doing these things versus am I doing these things, okay? Uh, once again, biopsy, we do a fair amount of biopsying and I, and I have a training. Uh, once again, this training is, is also within the Practice Mastery Academy where it talks about like um, kind of biopsying things uh, as well, how to do more of that. Lesion destruction, we do a lot of lesion destruction. So the one tip that I learned from my colleague is sometimes there's a porokeratoma, which is a really deep callus. Um, and uh, that's kind of a painful lesion. I do lesion destruction on that the first time. I'm not going to see them every like three months to do lesion destruction. I'm not going to do that. But if I do it once, I might do it once or twice. And then it usually goes away with some offloading. Um, and then also a lot of warts. We do a lot of lesion destruction for those. We use cantherdin uh, or we use laser for that. Um, my favorite uh, procedures are like a flexor tenotomy, IND, avulsions, matrixectomy, cortisones, strapping for fractures. So fractures, you get like a fracture code. You can strap the toes, get them the cam boot. If there's a lot of swelling, you can do like an uniboot as well. So there's a lot of like add-ons like one another to try to get to that $200 uh, mark. Um, the la least common ones, we don't really strap the foot that much for plantar fasciitis. I just think it takes too long. And sometimes it's, it's not covered with the other procedures that we do. And I don't do a lot of nail biopsies. For me, when I do nail samples, I call it a nail sample. It's not really a biopsy. I only do biopsies. There's like a risk of um, kind of melanoma, um, things like that. But look at some of these other resources. That'll help you go a little bit more into depth in, into the covered procedures. 
but I would once again keep keep an eye on these things. Like, what are the procedures that you could that your patients could benefit from, uh, kind of in your in your office? Uh, I'm going to go over now um, self pay procedures and different types of uh, self pay or cash pay uh, imaging imaging techniques for your office.